Can injecting testosterone take you from fat to fit? Find out in this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Chan. Today we're going to talk about low testosterone, also known as hypogonadism. What are some of the causes of hypogonadism and what are some of the symptoms? We'll also touch on some of the different ways to replace testosterone therapy, such as testosterone injections. Stick around until the second half of my video and I'll show you how to do testosterone injections at home. Symptoms of low testosterone include problems with erections, low libido or sex drive, fatigue, weight gain, lack of concentration, or brain fog. Usually as men age, the levels of testosterone tend to go down over time. There's also medical causes of low testosterone such as AIDS, brain tumors, renal failure, cirrhosis of the liver, opioid abuse, and alcohol abuse, along with a myriad of other reasons. Regardless of the cause, the benefits of replacing low testosterone with testosterone replacement therapy includes improvement in energy levels, improvement in sex drive, and better quality of erections. There's a multitude of different ways of getting your testosterone levels up. Patches, pellets, injectables, nasal sprays, you name it, it probably exists. I'm gonna show you the most cost-effective way of replacing low testosterone, which is testosterone injections. To get started with injections, get everything you need. A syringe, here's a 5cc syringe, or you can also use a smaller 1ml syringe. A 25 gauge needle, or a larger 22 gauge needle. Some alcohol prep pads. This is a vial of liquid that we'll use for demonstration purposes. First, take off the safety protective cap. Take your alcohol prep pad to clean the site. Some people like to start with the larger 22 gauge needle first to draw up the testosterone from the bottle just because it tends to be fairly thick and viscous. What's helpful is to pull a little bit of air into the syringe first and then inject that into the bottle so that makes it a little bit easier to draw out the testosterone. Here, we'll pull out about 0.3 mLs. And that's demarcated by the, the black Next, we'll switch to the smaller gauge needle. This is the 25 gauge needle for the injecting into the muscle. Just because it's a little bit smaller, it tends to be a little bit less painful. Next, I'm gonna go over some important anatomy on your leg. On the medial part of your thigh, there's the artery and the femoral vein. So these are bad. And you really wanna stay away from injecting anywhere close to there. Instead, you wanna inject on the lateral part of your thigh in this area here. You get your alcohol prep pad to sterilize the injection site of where you're gonna go in. What I find helpful is to just kind of pinch up a little bit of your skin when you go in and then go in at a 90 degree angle to inject the testosterone into the muscle. 